What's up guys? So I uh, am changing my air cabin filter. Air cabin filter. And uh, it's just two bolts. It's pretty easy. I just took it out with a screwdriver. One of these screwdrivers with the, you know, you can adjust it. You not adjust it, but put different things in there. But it was a pain in the ass because the last guy who uh, put it in didn't know what the hell he was doing. So it's, I had to literally rip it out. That's ridiculous. But um, I got also, I got a cool ladder because it, you know, so I can change this stuff because I, or else I, I wouldn't have no way to go, get up there. And I'm probably gonna change that, uh, that black thing, the black light because it's like broken. Not broken, but I think it's leaking. But um, yeah, it's really not that hard. You just put this new one in there. Let me show you. Let me show you. I bought this one also on Amazon. I think it was like 12 bucks. It's just it's just a new filter. That's all you put. Smack it in there, slide it back in, and that's it. But apparently, people can't even do that. You know what I mean? Like, what the hell? So it's pretty simple. You know, you just take it out, put it back in, and then you screw it back in. So just take this. Make sure you don't break it, you know, when you... Or else you're going to do the same situation as me, you know. But this is how it looks like. All white, not black. And I think that's why my old... Not my old, but my AC is not working. Not AC, but like the airflow is not working. Oh, look at that. It looks, fits right in. Oh my gosh. And I don't think there's any direction because they look identical on both sides. Um, and I don't think that... I don't think it fits... Oh, it does fit this way. Let me see. It's a square part, so like it can fit... You saw the spit. It's a square part, so you can fit anywhere you want it to. So that's a little weird. But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it like this, so the line's going up and down, and just slide it back in. So this is how you take it out. I uh, put it in, and it's because that's how I took it out. So come on, please go in. Okay, see. Okay, so it clips on the two beginning, and then oh, there. Literally, that's how. That's easy. That was easy, dude. And then you put this air cabinet filter in there and screw it back on on both sides with your nice little ladder. And you got your little pouch right here. Let me put it in here. You put this screw in. You gotta screw that in. And then you got the other screw. I usually like the, yeah. And I'm on my third, I'm on the third, third step. And I have, so, oof, there we go. I, you might see me fall live you know what i mean but um pretty easy pretty easy day just changing this hopefully this changes the airflow because the airflow literally didn't like it just did not blow in air like how it used to okay guys so i turned on the truck it, that definitely that was the e-log uh it definitely made a difference like i can i can feel the air coming out in now and it smells so much better like it smells like fresh air i'm not even kidding like holy crap you know what i'm saying like this is such a big difference like seriously like look at this like, oh my gosh it's 30 degrees out you know and you hear this you know low air pressure but we'll be okay but seriously like this is crazy it just smells so much like it smells like fresh air like oh my god like i'm so excited you know like to drive with this thing with this fresh air finally the thing's done but uh yeah i'm super happy i'm really happy this is great this is fantastic but um anyway that's it peace out i hope uh this helped and uh yeah